when we got here, our first person on the scene was Captain Tony Bentley. And he called us and let us know that we had a high angle rescue. Uh, what happened is she was sweeping the porch off and, and must have moved the, the couch that's sitting up there and fell in the hole. It was probably, I'd say anywhere from 30 to 40 feet down. Um, she'd been down there since 10.30 this morning. Mm -hmm. When we got here, she was talking to us. Mm -hmm. uh, she never lost consciousness while we were here. With our equipment that we had, we knew we was gonna need something else, so we had the rescue squad dispatched um, with our high angle and our confined space stuff. So basically, our, our main concern for them is number one, to make sure that they're stable. So the first thing we do is we try and get air to them because uh, you never know what the environment is like in something like that. So we get fresh air going to them. Uh, we begin to assess them uh, from the top here while we prepare uh, to make entry. You know, we've got certain criteria that we have to follow under the OSHA guidelines. We can't just throw a ladder in the hole and climb down in there. We have to be properly equipped, have to be properly trained, and we have to have the proper uh, manpower on scene to ensure that everything goes safely. The last thing we want to do is create more of a problem uh, and instead of coming up with a solution. So once, ever, once all the uh, safety preparations are made, we're able to get a rescuer uh, into the hole to actually you know, lay hands on the patient, stabilize them, assess them, and package them to bring them out. That's what you train for, and it's 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 uh, it's an honor to be able to do that to help someone else out. You know, it's, it's obviously something we don't want to have to do, but we realize it's a, it's an eventuality, it's a reality of life. Uh, so that's what we train for and we prepare for it uh, to to make sure we're as efficient as possible.